always had the same mentality with with the way I make music. It's always been, I'm not making the same music as Berna and Wiz and all this. I'm making I'm making music that I love. I am inspired and influenced by them. But there is a non so Amadi that nobody can. Talk, 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 talk. <laughs> you understand? Know, where I get all my energy from? From the stage to the studio and to my desk. I am the energy god. And you can be one too. You're listening to Adi Shokwe Live, the Afrobeat podcast. Right. Right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to another edition of Adi Shokwe Live, the official Afrobeats podcast, where we break down the hot topics in the culture. And sometimes I get a celebrity to come inside the studio one-on-one with me to chop it up. As always, we appreciate the subscriptions, likes, comments, sharing. Keep the numbers going up. So we don't have to wait on others to support our culture when we need to. Now, this is brought to you by the energy god himself. That's me. Make sure you drink, stay energized, and be yourself. And I'm live in the Afri Media Studios in London with a special guest. All the way from Toronto, Canada. Via Ikeja, Lagos. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for a voice of a generation. Non so am I. My Yo, brother. Thanks for having listen, me. Listen, I'm stoked to have you. Yes, you know, yes. um I've I've been a fan from the beginning. I've been a fan from day one. Yes. First question that I'm gonna ask you is non so how are you doing? I'm doing good, bro. I'm in I'm in a great space. Mm. Great team. Everything's just aligning right now and I think now's the time to really come back and like just like do what we have to do think everything that we've been working on for years mm. you know from the jump to now now is just like you know i feel like it's is the perfect moment to just get it done and and um yeah i'm excited you talked about coming back and getting it done you did go away. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can't, you and know, you we did. can't hide away from, so, like, okay. you. it was yeah. like a situation where you came into our lives, you created such a huge impact. Yeah. And like a girl that just likes to disappear, <laughs> you packed your bags I just left. and just left. No explanation, no notes, no letters, nothing. So I'm going to ask you, in, just, a lot of people want to know mm. why that sudden disappearance. What was it? What, why? Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro, it was needed because uh, prior to that disappearance, that break that I took, it was a lot of just pressure that I didn't know hmm. how to deal with. You know, as a musician, you think the game, especially if you're just starting, you think it's just about music. You think you're going to create your music, drop it, and just, like, everything else will sort themselves out. But, um, obviously, getting to learn about the music industry, how it works, how much budget goes into just promotions, mm. mixing, engineering your songs, it was, like, a lot of weights was being felt. So I said, okay, I'm going to take a few weeks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a few weeks and just like reorganize, re strategize like how we're gonna do this in an effective way where it can be, you know, you can drop as many songs as you want and you can shoot videos, do whatever. Um, of course, we didn't have the backing that mm. most artists, a lot of artists that are doing their thing have. But um, I just thought, like, yeah, let me take a few weeks and just figure out, figure it out. A few weeks turned into months, months turned into two years. And at that point, you know, I was like, okay. While while we're waiting, I might as well be working on myself, mm. get better on stage, get better as a person. How's my relationship with my mom, my dad? Like these are important things to also think about. Deep. Yeah, and um, get closer to God. So I did as much as I could during that break to like figure those things out. And also, I was working on music. You know, I wanted to come back strong. So if you're gonna take such a break, <laughs> you have to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're we're listening with twelve ears now. Right? Yeah, everyone's like, okay, okay. So you, you're coming back now. Let's see what you've been doing all this mm. time. And we really have de- delivered. We've dropped like about five songs so far. Videos for every song, 
we're getting ready to drop the album and you can see like the, the rollout is more consistent than before because mm. there is that backing and there's that like support that i needed um and it's like all is not lost really mm. I, and that was the fear coming back it's like have people really forgotten you know yeah. not so all that the fans but there's still like a lot of support last night the turnout was amazing yeah. you know we're about to do a headline show in london 13th of may do like a whole tour after the album drops but like it's just amazing to see that love and and for me it's like as long as i'm still doing what i love and i'm doing it to the best ability possible the best of my ability then i just know that like it's only gonna be you know great things from here the funny yeah. thing is you know being someone that goes into the gym i enjoy working out and one of the rules of going into the gym is don't take a break. Yeah. You take one day, turns mm -hmm. to two. Then a week, and then mm -hmm. you're like, how can I get back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you had that long in, in you know, working on yourself, working on music. What was the support system like to even give you the confidence to say, you know, because you see what's happening now, you know. Mm -hmm. You're seeing, yeah. you know, burn is going with, it's going, yeah. you know. The alternative sound that you are part of the people at the forefront yeah, yeah. is looking like everybody's yeah. flying. A lot of people might not even have the confidence and the support system to say, maybe I can still mix it in with all of what's going on with the culture now. What was your support system like? Who was the support system? And what did they really do to give you that confidence to know that, listen, man, you're, you're still part of this culture? Yeah, for sure. I think for me, it's just I, I understand what you're saying about mm. the, you know, having that pressure, looking at the whole industry right now, the Nigerian industry, there's so much talent there's yeah. so much good music. And um, even from the first time I started making music to now, I've always had the same mentality with with the way I make music. It's always been. I'm not making the same music as Berna and Wiz and all this. Yeah, I'm making I'm making music that I love. I am inspired and influenced by them. But there is a non so Amadi that nobody can. Talk, 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 <laughs> that, you know <laughs> There's a non so Amadi that nobody <laughs> respectfully, can. Respectfully. Yeah, you know I mean? respectfully. <laughs> you know, there's it's it's your own lane. Like Facts. and when people think non so they remember that lane, you 1, know. Thousand percent. Yeah, so that's what 1, you I always percent. have always moved with. You know, I've just always known that like bro this this game i know it's tough and i know it's 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 very hard but even one of the advices you gave me when i when i was coming up was about building the community like Facts. letting people see you Facts. and like growing with that community if i have a fan base of non somebody lovers in london in toronto in nigeria wherever i am you know out. it's sustainable you can do your thing so that's just what um, a lot of artists have to remember. Are you trying to be the next Wiz? Are you trying to copy Wiz word for word? word, for word? Mm. Or are you trying to be your own person? You know, trying to be, you know, the next hot, like great artist that we have out in Nigeria, wherever you're from, you know, and that would help you know that, okay, I have this lane. I'm going to do my best to be the best in this lane. Right. Let people remember that. Burner is burner, bro. Traffic, you know, yeah. there can't be a second burner, boy, you know? Yeah. So that's that's what we got to start moving with. Like, I'm, I'm different from everyone else. I like yeah. that. Now, you talked about the backing. Um, you and I have had these discussions in the past, you know. It's always difficult for, for artists, especially coming out of the Af Afro space, where yeah. there's kind of like the soul folk, R&B, Afrobeats, whatever, to get, you know, major backing to mm -hmm. give you the kind of support that you want. Mm -hmm. How did this relationship, because I'll be honest with you, in the last one month, I have gotten um, probably around 15 telephone calls about non so I'm like, That's crazy. I'm, I, I, like, <laughs> like, shout outs to Amika, she's one of them. Um, shout outs to Jules yes. from Canada's one of them. Yeah. Shout out by Cooley from yes. Lagos is yes. one of them. So yes. everybody ringing me up, like yes. boom, my phone goes off, yeah. the next one's calling, yeah, you know, uh, your boy non so yeah. is back at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it looks like, yeah. apart from, you know, the culture being excited that you're back, there's that backing, yeah. the relationship with a label mm -hmm. or a system how did that relationship come about what t talk to me about that and what's that platform yeah so that's really the hard work for a lot of artists that's really part of what um uh, you need to grind out at when you're coming out you know um aside from having a label which is really good you know you can have a label or you can have whoever supports in you even if it's an independent um company whatever that's cool and and it really does make a difference 
Um, however, like if you as an artist are grinding it out, meeting people, shaking hands, I've seen how that could that could really change Facts. the conversation. Facts. Um, like you said, the people you mentioned, the Bankuli, um, a, a few other names out there. These are people that we've been building with for years. So if they don't see you, they don't see your post, they don't see what you're doing. How are they gonna really know? how to support you so even though that was a big advice i got from don jazzy meeting him for the first time um last month he was like you know what like it's good that i'm hearing about you too i'm hearing everybody's talking and also doing this and also doing that but i wasn't really hearing that like that before like Facts. it was it was a little different because i was just in my corner, my corner. Yeah, you know yeah, doing yeah, my yeah. thing but you know with time like we've learned that okay this is how the industry works you have to you know that's why you see the video at the club a shit a shock here like they are where they are but they still go out there shake hands touch the people. people yeah so it's very important to grind it out as an artist be as visible as possible mm. you know um and then you can also keep your brand however you want to keep it for your fans or whatever yeah. they yeah. like that's yeah. cool but like behind the scenes you have to remember like okay where's the next event i could i could go show face and just like shake hands and stuff like nah. that. yeah and, and talk to me about this partnership with label yes what's the label yes for what's sure. going on there 100 you know, what I mean? you know so, we're hearing four million dollars <laughs> we're hearing 10 million dollars people it's, throwing numbers it's at way more place. than that i gotta say you know, I mean? you know it's, it's, it's a lot it's a lot of things <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> uh but yeah for real I, i'm with universal music canada that's amazing in, in uh, canada we have a great relationship with them out there um and then we're partnering with def jam us um shout out tingy um and then we're also in the uk partnering with um polydor that's amazing they're absolutely killing it like they were blowing up your phone yeah, yeah, yeah. that's my girl man she <laughs> yeah she puts me on every yeah. time yeah so we we're working on uh, obviously we're working on like promoting as much as possible globally because the yeah. sound now Afrobeats is not just in one Facts. region it's Facts. like it's you, you have to reach and touch as many markets as possible yeah. no nah, um listen man i like the fact that you said universal canada because that's your base yeah and to have partnered with uh you know a platform a label that's from your base yeah, yeah. it also kind of helps and gives you that confidence yeah. so so the only thing i've got to say to universal yeah. canada is what took you so long you know what i mean come you know what i mean come, come on, on man bro. we we known about this brother for years he had to take you this long but we'll take the deal we'll take, anyway we'll take, take the bag so let's talk about the music now yeah you know i i, I listen to the music um i was so I had a, a different kind of event that I was hosting. Shout out to KO and, and the legend from South Africa. But I was like, listen, whatever it's going to take, I'm, I walked oh, from that venue to you. yours. Like, Thank nah, you. I'm coming. Wow. You know, so when I got yeah. there, I just listened to a couple records. But Amika already shot the album to me. Yeah. And, and then I took my time to listen. I was a little bit scared mm. initially when the music was coming. Mm. Because the non-so that I know from time, you know, like I said, you were part of the pioneers mm -hmm. for the alternative sound. It had no label. It was mm -hmm. kind of like R&B, yeah. Afro, yeah. folk, yeah. soul. Yeah. It was just like a completely different sound. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking this time you've taken away on the amount of influence that Afro beats itself and the dance floor has had. Would it have changed mm -hmm. you a bit? Um, and then I clicked the album. And it did. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, all right, the girl's gonna love this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me about this album. Yes. Was it a story you wanted to put together? What was the process of making this album? What was in your thoughts around making the music for this project? For sure. Like, honestly, when I was thinking about making an album, there were so many like things that they were pulling me in different places. I wanted to first make bedu like proper bangers that people can slap every straight day, to the club you know and then you think about it and you're like wait what do i actually love listening to what kind of projects do i love listening to and um one of the projects that i absolutely loved listening to was whiskey superstar mm. um, the first whiskey project it was like crazy. it was him basically 
pouring out his heart. Like every song on us, he was literally pouring that's out. You remember, remember that line? Yeah. One shot on that same shoe. Yeah, yeah I've forgotten the song. I think I can't remember, but he, I think it was uh, uh, it, one of those yeah, where he was talking about yeah. his story. His story, basically, I could yeah. imagine myself in a studio with him, yeah. like hustling. And I thought like that was such a great album to just like introduce the world to Whiskey. The last song, shout out to my real name. He shouted out yeah, everyone everybody. that supported him, you know. And I'm like, I want to create an album like that. That's a legacy project, you know. Wherever you listen to it, whatever time of the year you listen to it, it, it hits. And um, it's the same feeling I wanted to en encapsulate in my album, where um, it talks about my journey being the shy guy that just came into the scene, mm. not really sure how to talk to the girls, not really <laughs> sure how to. But the girls you know, love you, didn't they? <laughs> they you know, love that. Just figuring it out, you know, just a little like intimidated mm. uh, easily. And um, that's the first song on the project. It talks about that feeling of being insecure. And the last song is a song called Thankful, where I'm just like, you know, I'm just grateful to be here. Very grateful for my talent, for my family, managers, all that. And I'm I'm a different person now. I've grown into this this person that um, I'm meant to be. And um, that's why the project is called When It Blooms, because it's like a flower. The flower starts as a seed. Mm. It goes in the ground. It breaks apart, goes through whatever it goes through. And then it comes. It becomes a beautiful flower where it opens up its petals and you can see this beautiful plant. Um, and that's where I, I see myself right now, where... You know, I'm just a different character. I'm a grown character, mm. you know. Um, and I think a lot of people would be able to get to know Nonso a bit more by just listening to that project. When I saw some of the collaborators on that, shout out to Zeno, Zeno man. I don't know what, what you told him about that record. I don't know who pissed him off. I don't know what he was dealing with, but he went into that record like full Rambo mode. He had the knife, the gun, he had it all. On he, that was, he was going hard. Um, but another one that really, that I, once I saw the name, mm -hmm. it made sense. Mm -hmm. And when I heard it, it made even more sense. Mm -hmm. was Tay. Oh yeah. Like yeah, yeah. for me, that's a marriage that probably should have happened three years yes, ago. Yes, yes. You know, yes. as a matter of fact, if you're a cool, cool like that, I'm thinking a four track key P. You know what I mean, that, like, what? you heard it first, like, trust me, that's that's proper A&R yeah, yeah. work right yeah, there. That, yeah. Like, that's bread and butter. Yes, yes. You know, both your vocals yes, are extremely soothing to the ear. You're not looking for a noisy record. You're just, <laughs> telling your stories right. with the lyrics right. with the vocals right. and it's something that the world it, like that record for me mm. i believe is like the first step yeah. for something crazy yeah, yeah and i was so happy to see that collaboration mm. and then when i heard it out crazy. the roof crazy. and you mentioned thankful as the last record on mm -hmm. you know on the on the album mm -hmm. and the fact that you know to a lot of people oh the last record on the mm -hmm. album thankful mm -hmm. is, is that's a banger <laughs> so like for me yeah you know that was the that that that's the one that first of all got yeah. me like Wait. yo yeah i was expecting some prayers Bro. i was expecting oh yeah, yeah. but i'm like yeah. yo yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that is an absolute smashing record Thank that's you, not an album filler yeah. that's not something you put on there for that's a record yeah. that you stand by yeah because yeah. it has both legs in the listening world mm -hmm. and in the party world Bro. and in just the vibe so that that's an amazing record yeah, now yeah. like i've said I, i've mentioned knowing you for a long time mm -hmm. you are a hundred percent you write mm -hmm. you produce yeah you take your own vocals, yes. you do the whole thing. <laughs> On this project, this mm -hmm. album, When It Blooms, how did the 100% non somebody <laughs> work with other people? Oh my God, that's a great question, bro. <laughs> I struggled. <laughs> Where's this beat, bro? Send me the files. What's going on? You know, but it was fun because one thing I also learned um, over time, just being in the industry, because honestly it's, it's pays to have mentors in the industry it pays mm. to have people tell you like bro this is the way it's done this is the way people you know because 
I had to learn that I had to watch people like Jules, I had to watch people like Mr. Easy working on their projects, and like they would have so many people on just one song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just one song. Like they'll have so many people, like somebody will play the guitar, someone will do this, and I'm like, oh wait, I've been doing all this myself. myself. And it's someone else can actually input and make it better. Like that's how I had to like kind of learn that, okay, I don't need to take on so much load. There's so many dope people you know, in the industry that you could collaborate with. And that's why, you know, right now I'm a bit more open. And I think it makes sense for the theme to be even more open, you know, to bloom in that way mm. and just ac receive receive the love, receive the collaborations the way I've done. Um, there were a lot of great producers. Shout out TSB. Mm. Shout out Mon Jake. Um, who else? I'm missing people. And there's good of anybody. Anybody from Canada? From Canada. Any, from Canada. Anybody um, from yes. Canada? Um, Harper. Shout out um, Harper Gordon. TJ. Um, London, London Remas, the producers, it was amazing. Um, so yeah, there's like so many great people that, that were involved in just making this a reality. And uh, I just, I'm so thankful. Another thing I wanted to ask is, you know, when you are kind of like in your hibernation mode and you're quiet and mm. it doesn't look like anything is happening, you know how it is with, with the culture. It's not mm. only like African culture, yeah. it's like the music business. Like if things ain't popping for mm. you, man, the phone calls, <laughs> people don't call no yeah. more. Ain't nobody ringing. Like, I know I message you from time to time, yes, like, yes. what's going yeah. on, bro? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what's happening? Yeah. How was it like when you reached out to other people mm -hmm. to try to get them on? Um, Did you get the, nah, man, this brother ain't, <laughs> this brother ain't in flames kind yeah. of situation? That's so crazy you ask, because um, I remember, like, coming back, like, when I was working on the album, and I wanted, like, a lot of features. At first, I'm like, Oh wait, so we have all the songs. We ain't got no features. That's crazy. No one's gonna listen to this shit, bro. I'm finished. I'm finished, bro. And I started like hitting up people. I started like we, we came to Lagos, Nigeria. I started like messaging people, just trying to see what 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 could happen. And I kid you not, like everybody, aside from a few, responded. Like everybody, shout out. Like there's a lot of names I don't want to drop, but like there's so many like dope talent right now they all hit me back up like yo we're ready to do something whenever the time's right whenever we have the right record um and that's how we have like a record with zeno you that's know crazy. there's some other collaborations that didn't make the project but yeah. yeah like a lot of love is still there in nigeria and outside um it's it's one thing for sure to be in your head about it like yo i don't really know man i've been away for so long maybe i need to build the buzz back yeah. up but i was like you know what like Yes, some people might have forgotten, but like, it's, it pays to just try, you Absolutely. know, just see what happens. Yeah. Listen, you were like, like I said, you were leading a genre. You inspired a lot of these new cats. The sound <laughs> that, you know, a lot of new cats are rocking with is the sound that you were part of people to create it. Yeah. So a lot of these guys, it only made sense mm -hmm. that when they get the DM yeah. from you, they're going to know, hey, yeah. the gods on the phone. You understand 100%. what I mean? And, and I'm happy to know that you had that type of response yes, back because yes, at yes. least because the, the industry is uh, a thankless industry and people yeah. kind of forget it is. It is. It's crazy. quite easily. You yeah. know what I mean? You yeah. know. Um, now you've mentioned the album. The album's going. You know, is is back here. You mentioned the tour. Your last gig was in was it in Lagos. You had one in Lagos, wasn't it? Yeah, I had a gig in Lagos. It was mainland block party. Yeah, yeah. mainland block party. <laughs> now. What is anybody looking for a non Swamadi ticket right now? Mm -hmm. After all this wow, I'm not seeing you on stage. <laughs> what can they be expecting? You know, those hits from before. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Talk yeah, us we're, through we're, this, we're, brother. We're coming. <laughs> uh, London, we're having a show in London. This is just a, almost like a taster show for the main show facts, in London. Facts. It's going to be very intimate. Um, a smaller venue but um, it's going to be on the 13th of May and then once the album drops we're going to announce more dates so we want to do Lagos obviously we have touched Lagos we want to touch Ghana Facts. we want to go Canada Toronto Canada come back to London you know so we, we're going to work the album as much as possible but honestly like, I just want to actually just say like thank you to everyone who's stuck it out because there's a lot of people that were just 
tweeting every day, checking yeah. in, like, where is not so, yeah. you know, I want, I want new music. And now we're coming back with a full album. I feel like um, I can't wait to just perform this project with with the fans who's, who've been there. And then thank you so much, Shopsy. I got to say this. Oh, I know man. I just got to give you your flowers because you have been there from, from early to oh, now man. showing love. And it's just like super, super amazing to see that kind of you know love from you with your platform and everything so i'm a, I'm a big fan it. i've been appreciate a big fan it. from day one um <laughs> and i just think that your voice is needed in our mm. culture your sound is needed in our mm. culture the difference you bring to the culture is needed the value you add like a lot of like the young kids yeah they people that couldn't feel some of the music that we we're producing within the culture they latched onto yours right, right, right. as a way in. Like yeah. when I was coming here, my daughter hit me up and was yeah. like, "Oh, Brent Fire's tickets sold out." Yeah. And, stuff. <laughs> and she, the first kind of records that she was rocking to, were records from you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now she's more open. Yeah. Brent Fire's yeah, Rod yeah. Wave, give yeah. you, you know, <laughs> yeah. and that's because of the mashup that yeah, you're yeah. also doing. So yeah. for me, it's it's needed. Yeah, it's necessary. I'm I'm very happy that to see you back looking good, happy, enjoying yourself, traveling <laughs> around the world, promoting right. the music, yeah. you know, coming with family. It means a lot. Mm -hmm. My 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 almost final question is mm -hmm. now you're back. Now we're back. <laughs> and uh no more breaks, brother. I just need one. <laughs> I did one more year, bro. I've, I've come back. I've seen Twitter. I'm still mad. I'm ready to go for one more break. Listen, Twitter is never going to change. Those dudes, sometimes I just leave them alone. You know what I mean? Yeah, Today yeah. I went on there and I was just like, hello, Twam. You guys yeah, good? Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing somebody would just come out there and say, fuck you. Let's like, nah, just, just leave it alone, man. These guys, they're never going to change. That's crazy. Man. But, yeah. you know, the, the one thing thing i want is consistency, consistency bro yeah, yeah. you know once this album touches where it's supposed to touch mm -hmm. you, you're gonna get the full support from us thank you we're gonna bro. put everything on it everybody has to hear it. the music's yeah. fantastic ah, thank you you know the girl's gonna <laughs> <laughs> your dm's gonna start of popping course, again bro, hey, hey, hey. So, so, so what's happening so it, it, what's the relationship status so I, I think what's, this podcast has ended. Nah, right? man, we're still recording, bro. They want to know. See, it's not recording. Listen, I remember yeah. what Lagos used to be like. Okay. I remember what Ghana yeah. was like yeah, when I yeah, 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 London yeah. was crazy. <laughs> like, he was it was up, bad. It he was bad. mad. So right now, you just got back. People yeah. want to know, are you still available? I'm they know they see me. You're, you're unavailable now? What? Wait, 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 this too. Wait, wait. none so my is wives. unavailable. All my wives are watching. Listen, bro, this is a very They're serious question. Me one by one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, huh? they ain't gonna play with this. Yo. They wanna, they wanna know. So everything is still the same, the same mm -hmm. way it is. God I think damn. I can't really hear it from here. Ah. Can I get a uh, check on that? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, you know, that's it. Oh, I'm just focused on my music right now. It's the normal yeah, yeah, yeah. BS. I'm married to the music. Oh, I'm married to the game. It's the normal BS. It's the normal BS. <laughs> when, listen, when it blooms, yeah. it's the album. Thank you. Go get that. Get back on the train. Um, Nonso is one of us and one of the most talented young brothers to touch the scene, change the culture with a different sound. I'm proud to see you back, my Thank brother. You, bro. And this it. is something that everybody has to go get. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my brother, via Toronto, Canada, Ikeja, Lagos, now London. <laughs> it's Nonso, my dad! Yeah, 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 yeah. My brother. Nah, that's that's crazy, man. Listen. So what are we saying again? Right.